The Ridgeline hit the road for model year 2006, bringing Honda's presence into the pickup truck segment with a unique new offering. Built on a unibody structure and powered by a sole V6 engine, Ridgeline shoppers tended to gravitate towards this model for its efficiency, maneuverability, easy driving character, and easy entry and exit. With no shortage of handy storage inside and out, and clever touches like a two-way tailgate, and flat rear seat floor helping add further appeal, the Ridgeline is easily adapted to a wide range of tasks. On flexibility, storage, and versatility, this is a hard truck to beat. First generation units were available from model years 2006 to 2014 inclusive with a proven 3.5 liter V6 engine, automatic transmission, and intelligent four-wheel drive with a push-button locking function for added traction when required. Now, let me set you up with five tips to help you find the best used Honda Ridgeline that you can for the dollar. Tip number one, rust. At this writing, some Ridgelines from this generation have now been on the road for 16 years. Some owners have reported rust-related issues and some shoppers have reported difficulty in finding older, rust-free or low-rust units, others have not. If you're considering an earlier used Honda Ridgeline, be sure to carefully check areas like the door seams, rocker panels and unibody structure beneath for signs of excessive corrosion. A proper underbody rust inspection requires professional assistance in the form of a pre-purchase inspection, or PPI, on a technician's hoist. Remember that rust can be very sneaky. Seek out a used Ridgeline that's been regularly oil sprayed or crowned for maximum peace of mind, especially if shopping for a unit from a northern locale. During ownership, continued applications can help extend the life of the Ridgeline as well as its resale value. Missing a potential rust problem before you buy a used Honda Ridgeline can cost you money and cause headaches, so it can pay to be on the lookout. Tip number two, rad fittings. Some owners have reported excessive and problematic corrosion from fittings that connect fluid lines to the Ridgeline's rad. If one or more of these fittings corrodes to a point of failure, severe engine and transmission damage become likely. Some owners choose to have rusty rad fittings replaced preemptively to prevent problems down the line, others do not. For maximum peace of mind, approach any used Honda Ridgeline assuming that its rad fittings are in poor shape and might be about to cost you a major repair bill until you have a professional assessment that indicates otherwise. Tip number three, rear seating levers. On your test drive of the Honda Ridgeline you're considering, spend some time doing a test in the rear seating area. Start by flipping the seat bottoms into their upright position and note the operation of the metal support bar beneath each seat bottom. As the bottom is lifted, that support bar should retract automatically to a flush position. If that's not the case, the pulley system within the seat is likely broken, though some owners report that it can be fixed easily. Tip number four, water leaks. With the rear seats upright from the previous test, remove all items and floor mats from the rear seat area and check the carpeting for signs of moisture, standing water, or water staining that could indicate a previous leak. Move to the front of the vehicle and perform the same inspection. Aim to inspect as much of the Ridgeline's visible carpeting as possible for signs of moisture. Look closely for signs of water staining or dampness where the carpeting ends going up the firewall. If you detect any of the above, the Ridgeline you're considering might have a leak from its sunroof, rear brake light, or a sliding rear window. In rarer cases, improperly installed windshields can cause similar leaks. Some Ridgeline owners have reported water leak trouble, most have not. Water leaks like this can damage your vehicle and cost you money, so it pays to be on the lookout. Tip number five, higher mileage units. If you're considering a higher mileage Ridgeline from this generation, familiarizing yourself with its maintenance requirements can save you money and headaches. The Ridgeline's engine timing belt requires occasional replacement, and during the procedure, the water pump may need to be inspected and replaced as well. Before you buy, you'll want to know if and when this servicing was last completed, and whether or not the service is coming due again soon. Ridgeline timing belt servicing intervals are about every 100,000 kilometers, but check the owner's manual in the specific unit that you're considering for the full scoop. An engine's timing belt is a part that's changed preemptively before it fails. Skipping or stretching this important maintenance can stop your road trip dead in its tracks, result in catastrophic engine failure, and cost you thousands of dollars. These tips are designed to help test driving shoppers more easily identify possible trouble areas reported by some owners. An attentive test drive and shopping process that focuses on the areas that we just mentioned can help you find a first-class example of a second-hand Honda Ridgeline. 
Hit that like button down below if you learned something new. My name's Justin Pritchard, and until next time, take care and drive safe.